go away from my life. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have a total of nine books that I either did not like, have duplicate copies of, or just no longer want on my shelf. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book I have, I really did not like, so it needs to go off to the thrift store and it is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. The entire time I was reading this book, I was just so confused with what was going on it bothered me so much because it was just so frustrating not having any clue what was actually happening i don't even want to look at this book so it's going off to the thrift store so somebody else can hopefully enjoy it because a lot of people really like this book but i am the unpopular opinion apparently the next book i have is time between us by tamara ireland stone and again this is one book that a lot of people liked but i only gave it a three out of five stars it was very average for me i don't need it on my shelf i'm never gonna reread it it's like a cute contemporary time travel love story that's just not what i'm into apparently so it's going back to the thrift store so somebody else can like it the next book i have i was really upset that i didn't like it as much as i wanted to because it's a fairy tale retelling and I love fairy tale retellings but it is Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge and I gave it a three out of five stars. It was average but I felt that the ending was super rushed. It's not a book that I'm going to ever pick up again so I have way too many books that I need to shelve and no room so. The next book I have is Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead and again I was very upset that I didn't like this one as much as I loved Vampire Academy. I'm pretty sure I gave every single Vampire Academy Academy book either four or five stars. And I ended up giving this a three out of five stars. I don't know if I'm just like growing up and the target audience isn't for me but I just there were like the two major issues I had with this book and I just don't feel like I connected to this spin-off series as much as I did the Vampire Academy. Getting rid of it and hopefully somebody else younger than me will enjoy it more than I did. The next two books I have are just because I have duplicate copies of them so I don't need two on my shelves. So the first one is The Last Girl Lied To by Ellie Flynn and the other one is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganchu. I ended up getting sent two of each of these arcs so I figured I might as well send them off to somebody else so that they can enjoy them as well. The next book that I have is City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson and I gave this a three out of five stars and my rule is if I give something three stars or lower I end up giving it to the thrift store because I want to have books that I very very much enjoyed rather than just books I found average on my shelf so that is one of these books. The next book I have is Uninvited by Sophie Jordan and this is another three star book so the same reason as City of Saints and Thieves. I just don't need it on my shelf because it was average to me. And then the last book that I have for my unhaul video is A Good Idea by Christina Maracho and again this is just one of those books that I gave three out of five stars and the rule is three out of five or lower gets sent back to the thrift store so. Alright guys so that was my nine book unhaul video for today. Let me know down below if you guys read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!